to spot trade on Binance, open the trade platform on your computer or your Binance mobile app. Here you will see the cryptocurrency pair that is currently being traded. Right now is Bitcoin and USDT. The coin on the left is the main coin being traded and you can either buy it with the coin on the right or sell it to the coin on the right. For example, if you buy on this page now, what you are going to be buying is going to be Bitcoin and you are going to be using USDT to buy the Bitcoin. And if you sell on this page, you are going to be selling Bitcoin into USDT. If you change the pair that you are trading to a different pair, you will also see the new pair here. Right here is the current price of the coin on the left against the coin on the right. So right now, this is the price of Bitcoin against USDT. This is the change in the price of the coin in the last 24 hours. What these numbers here mean is that in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin has fallen in price by a little over 1,500, which is about 2.5%. This is the highest price Bitcoin has reached in the last 24 hours, and this is the lowest price Bitcoin has reached. These prices just give you information on how the coin you want to trade has performed in the last 24 hours. So if I want to buy Bitcoin, for example, right now, I have an idea what price range is going to be expensive and what price range is going to be cheap or okay for me to buy. What that means is if I see the price that is very close to the highest price, I know it's a little bit expensive right now. I might decide to wait for it to fall down a little before I buy. Right here, you have the other book. The numbers in red show you the orders of people who are currently selling the coin and the price that they want to sell it for. The prices in green show you the orders of the people who want to buy and the prices that they want to buy for. This is the price chart showing you how the price of that coin has moved over time. And with some study, practice and experience, you can learn how to analyze and predict the direction the price is likely to go next. But if you are a complete beginner, don't worry about chart analysis for now. A safer bet will be for you to subscribe to a recommendation service and with time you'll be able to read the charts yourself. If you have a good recommendation service and your recommendation service also tells you what price to buy a coin at, that is fantastic. If you don't know any reliable crypto recommendation service, the one I recommend is in the description box below. It's Crypto Shady. Just click the link in the description box and subscribe to whichever plan suits your current needs. But if I'm to advise you, I will say start with the cheapest package and see how it works for you before you can think of going higher. This is the search bar where you check for other coins or other pairs. To find a coin, just type the name of that coin in the search bar and all the pairs for that coin will come out. If there are a lot of pairs and you just want to find a specific pair, you type the first coin, add a space and then type the second coin. That specific pair will come up and then you can click on it to trade. Over here you can see the trades that are currently happening. The numbers here are different from the market orders. These are the trades that have actually happened. Over here you have the market activities. You can see things like when somebody buys or sells a very large amount of a particular coin. When a particular crypto hits an all-time low or the price of a particular crypto hits an all-time high, you will see all of that information in this part of the screen. This part here is where the actual buying and selling of crypto is done. The green side is to buy and the red side is to sell. The default way to buy crypto in Binance is with a limit order. This is where you set the price you want to buy for and the amounts that you want to buy and then the crypto will automatically buy for you when that price is reached. When you want to buy, look at the current price of that coin to make sure that you are not buying for a higher than necessary price. Right now, the price I have here is higher than the current price, so I'm going to change it to something lower. I'll enter the amount of the coin that I want to buy. You can use this slider to select how much you want to buy, or you can just enter the amount here. When you are okay with everything, click buy. If you don't care about what price you are buying and you just want to buy the coin right now, click on market, enter the amount that you want to spend and then click buy. A market order will buy your coin at the average price currently in the market. When you create a limit order, it will list at the bottom of the page under open orders. But once the price you search reaches and the platform buys the coin for you, the listing is going to disappear and you can find it under order history or trade history. By default, the order and the transaction history will show you your orders for one day, but you can click on one week, one month or three months to see your order or transaction history for that time period. You can even enter your own custom date range so that you can see your transactions for whichever period of time you want to see it. After buying your crypto, you wait for it to make some profit and then you sell it off. To sell the crypto, just come to the sell part, 
Enter the amount of the coin you want to sell and the price that you want to sell it for and click on sell. The important thing to note here is the total amount you spent to buy the coin. For example, for this one, I bought it with a limit order at this price and this is the total amount I spent. So when I'm selling at whatever price I choose, I have to make sure that that price is higher than this total that I have here. That's when I'll be in a profit. So that's how you do spot trading on the Binance platform. If you would like to learn more about crypto trading, then subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this one. God bless your hustle.